In question two, we're asked to solve each exponential equation. And up to this point, we've really looked at only one main strategy to solve exponential equations, and that is to get the basis of these to be the same. So just a quick inspection, I'm looking at this. This base is an 8, and that base is a 16. They aren't the same base, so what we want to try to do is get them into the common base. Now, 8 and 16 have a common base, but that common base is 2. 2 to the third power is 8. So I'm going to write an equivalent expression for 8 as 2 cubed, and that's the raise of the 2x plus 4. 16 is a base 2 number. It's 2 to the fourth power, so 2 to the fourth is 16, but that's raised to the x plus 1. Now we're going to use our power rules. A power raised to a power, we need to multiply exponents, so it's 2 to the... 6x plus 12, if I distribute, equals 2 to the 4x plus 4 if we distribute. Now, once you have the bases of the same, the only way that we can get the same value on an exponential equation is if the bases are the same, then the exponents have to be the same. So we simply equate our exponents and solve that equation, which is a linear, so I'm going to subtract 4x and get 2x, and I'm going to subtract 12, which is going to give us a negative 8, which means x is a negative 4. If x were negative 4, then our two expressions would be equivalent to each other. So the main idea is to, just to get the common bases and rewrite your base numbers as equivalent powers of a common base.